All right, Natasha Wodak, uh, congratulations on your another win at the Pioneer AK. Thanks. <clears throat> so you ran, I think, about 26.04, yes? Mm-hmm. That's a pretty good time. What were you looking for coming in? Did you have a time in mind? I honestly had no idea. Um, I'm doing a lot of fart licks. Um, I've only had, really had one and a half sessions on the track. So, you know, I was in Hawaii for one of them. It was hot. I don't know what it meant. So, um, usually around this time of the year, I'm in about 26.30 shape. I ran 26.37 the last two years. Um, I had that one race, you know, six years ago. That was 25.30. But I knew that wasn't going to happen today, so I was surprised myself a bit by running, you know, around the 26-minute flat range. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, so it's a uh, course record now because this is a new course. Yeah. There you go. And you, of course, have the uh, the national record, 25-28, which you just alluded to. So does this give you uh, an idea where you're at in terms of uh, Houston next week? Because you're going to run the Chevron Houston Half Marathon. Yeah, so, uh, you know, last year I did the exact same thing. Uh, I ran 26.37 and then I ran 111.30 the following weekend. So I hope that since I ran faster here this weekend, I might run a little faster next weekend. I'd love to run a PB. My PB is 71.20, so anything under that would be really awesome, but definitely a good confidence booster, a great way to start 2019. Yeah, for sure. And that uh, is from New York 2015, yes? That personal list? Yes. Good stuff. So what's the difference uh, with the course uh, from New York to, to Houston? Um, well, I mean, New York starts in Central Park, so you have those hills in the beginning, but then the last 10K in New York is quite fast. Houston, I would think, I, I think is a bit of a faster course. I mean, there's almost no hills, um, and there's very few turns, which is really nice. You can get a good cadence going, and there's always just such a huge elite field, and the women and men start together, which is really great because last year there was a guy that went past me around 8K and I just stuck on his butt and ran with him for another about almost 7K and he helped me get up to another pack of girls. So it's nice to be able to run with the men as well. Bridging the gap. Mm -hmm. Now talking about Pioneer 8K, first race of the BC Super Series, uh, first race of the uh, Island Race Series. Um, what do you make of the course? Last year was really stormy. A lot of people probably didn't get an idea what it was really like. They're too focused on. <laughs> well, that's what I said. I was like, I don't even remember what the course is like because it was so miserable. All I was thinking about was like get to the finish line. So this year I was really able to enjoy the course. I mean, ah, what a day! You couldn't ask for a more perfect day to run. What, eight degrees and sunny, no wind. It was amazing. So I liked the course. I mean, there's a couple little hills, um, but you get a nice straightaway, almost a full mile out and a full mile to the finish, which is really nice. Um, I've, I found it as a quite a bit fast course, I would say. Uh, only one hairpin turn around 4K, which really kind of hurt my legs a bit to get going again. So that's the K where I did went the hairpin turn and I had had about 20 meters on Rachel and then she caught me. Right, like within a K, she caught me and then I was like, ah. Oh, well. <laughs> so did you find, because you were together just after halfway there, did you find that, uh, that you, you dropped her or did she just dropped back a bit? Um, she, she got back up to me uh, between 4 and 5K and I had let off the gas a bit. I was starting to hurt. That hairpin hurt me. I went out a bit too hard. And then we ran side by side and with 2K to go, I saw the split and I thought we can break 26 minutes. So I said to her, we can break 26 minutes. And I sort of started to pick up the pace a bit, started to, and then she dropped back a bit, but she was right on my tail, right until 1K to go. And then I just sort of, I looked at the lead biker and I just like tucked my elbows in and it was like 1K to go, like just push it in. And I almost got under 26 minutes, but whatever. I'll take so that, that kick is thanks to those hot fart looks down in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Farlicks were mostly in like Vancouver. Hawaii, I actually got to go on the track for the first time since, I don't know, July. So it was fun. Okay, so let's say uh, your race Houston goes well. What are your plans for the uh, spring? Well, World Cross Country Championships is March 31st, so that's a big one. Um, between Houston and World Cross, um, I might do a 5K road race. I also am going to Trinidad for the NACAC Cross Country Championships. I'm doing a training camp in Phoenix. And then after World Cross, I'm going to go up to Flagstaff, get some altitude training, and hopefully do something big at Peyton Jordan 10,000 in May. Maybe, I'm saying this, not you, maybe another Canadian record in the 10,000? That would be absolutely amazing. 
Um, but who knows? I got a lot of work to do. Yeah, you weren't far off that uh, in, in the Commonwealth Games, and that being a global championship, so races typically don't have uh, as finish, mm -hmm. fast finish times. So who knows? Maybe you're going to regain that, uh, that level of finish. I hope so. <laughs> well, good luck there, and, and thank you for this. A nice job today here at the Pioneer AK. Thank you. Donate the red and white horizontal strikes to Prairie Marius. She will be delighted just outside 26 minutes.